Why do you want to work out? What is your goal? The most important thing is that you have a vision, that you have a goal. Because without that vision and without that goal, again, you're drifting around and you're never going to end up anywhere. People don't become successful just by accident. You know, I mean, maybe the guy uh, that found gold in California and started the gold rush, but don't count on that. That's a one in a, in a lifetime kind of a situation. So you got to really have a specific goal. And to me, to have that vision that I want to be Mr. Universe, that I want to be the greatest bodybuilder of all time. That was a great vision and that specifically to look like Reg Park and to be up there on that stage and to lift the trophy overhead and to win the championship over and over and over again. So that was a great goal. You have to have a goal. Now it doesn't have to be that specific goal, but it has to have some goal. This is why I always recommend to people, sit down, take your time and start thinking about why do you want to work out? What is your goal? And that can't be as crazy as it is. It, it could be, uh, you know, I want to impress girls. If that's your goal, so be it, but it motivates you. It could be that you're emulating a certain, uh, you know, bodybuilder or a certain football player, a certain boxer, whatever it is, have those pictures put all over the wall like I did when I was a kid. I put pictures of Rich Park and of Sonny Liston, of uh, boxers and of Ali and of powerlifters and weightlifters all over my bedroom, uh, you know, uh, wall so that every day when I go to sleep, every day when I wake up, I look at those pictures and they motivate me. You need that motivation and then therefore you have this kind of imprint in front of you all the time and you know exactly what you're chasing. 